clearly, if I've beaten what I just did in the first secret episode, why does it need to unlock another secret episode? What is going on? Yeah, see, this is final episode. Final episode clear, and this one is... I guess I could have, like, written over this one, but just in case. Ugh. Hidden Truths. Darkness rules your heart. It gives me control. Muscle and sinew that once obeyed you now rebels against you. How you can remain here at all confounds the mind. It's still my heart. You think you can just come in and take over? I'm not gonna sit by and let that happen. <laughs> Don't even entertain any notions of escaping me, boy. In the end, your heart will be engulfed by mine forever. Wrong. You're gonna get shown the door, old man. As I recall, you couldn't even handle your own darkness. How then will you triumph over mine? <laughs> well, you'll find out soon enough. So that's how it is, is it? Someone else has set foot in your heart. Ericus, you sly fox. I'm not afraid of what the darkness holds now. Even if you do wrest control of my heart from me. Even if you cast me into the deepest, darkest abyss. You'll never sway me from the one cause that pushes me to keep on fighting. Whatever the cost, I'm ready to pay it. Brave words, to be sure. But I'm a patient man. We can take as much time as we need to settle this little property dispute. However, know this. You are just one of many roads that I might choose to take. Trust me, I made certain of that. <laughs> We're not gonna find out what that means until Dream Drop Distance. Image of their backs, preserved in memory. Also, yeah, Ericus is in there, too. He pulled a Kyrie. He didn't actually die, he just put his heart inside of Terra. Hey, Mr. Master. Oh, come on, you don't even know your pal? Please tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliche. Hey, you're not... Terra. Just gotta check. <laughs> As if. Well, don't sweat it. I got your back. So yeah, he does have am amnesia for a while, until uh, Xehanort eventually takes over. Two who were never meant to meet. So this is the time skip after darkness did engulf the worlds. Where the king went and just sat and pout, pouted in the realm of darkness. He's not alone Who there. Are you? Hmm? Why, hello. It's not often I get visitors. Please, call me Aqua. Why are you sitting here all alone in the realm of darkness? How did you end up here? Well, I can tell you this is my second time on these shores. But unfortunately, much like the first, I do not remember who I am or whence I came. 
Everything was washed away in whatever currents carried me here. That's too bad. I know I've been here a long time, wandering through the endless hours, unable to escape. You wish to return to your own world? It's my friends. I promised I'd be there for them. Your friends? Somewhere in the scraps of memory I have left, you remind me of a boy I once knew. He is very much like you. True to his friends and kind, this boy travels to many worlds and fights to keep the light safe. Keep the light safe? I've been away too long. Did something happen out there? Are the worlds in danger? Sad to say, they nearly fell to darkness more than once. But at every turn, that boy arrived with Keyblade in hand to save the day. Huh? Wait a sec. Is his name Terra or Ven? Mm-mm. You've been here a long time, honey. Neither of those, I'm afraid. <sighs> Should have known. How long has it been since I met him? At least a year now, perhaps more. Back then, my heart was clouded with vengeance. I did terrible things, both to him and his friends. I brought unhappiness to more lives than one. Yeah, this must be right after must be done. Kingdom Hearts 2. Was that why? A means of clearing my conscience, or perhaps out of a sort of scholarly instinct. While the boy slept his long sleep, I hid the results of my research inside him, transplanting the data to where it might best serve a purpose. In fact, I would like to believe maybe he can set things right. A boy like him who touches so many hearts. He could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. So many are still waiting for their new beginning, their birth by sleep. Hey, name drop. Even me, and even you. What's this boy's name? His name is. Sora. All the pieces lie where they fall. Fell. Excuse me. Fell. Past tense. But yeah, he had some data in Sora, and uh, that's where Coded is gonna take off. Because Sora has become the new Y data. And yeah, Aqua does not grow in the Realm of Darkness, because the Realm of Darkness technically does not have time. Sora. It's based off of the same concept of, like, the Realm of Chaos in the Final Fantasy Nova Crystallis series. So same when Chaos got loose in uh, the Final Fantasy XIII series, time just quits. People live their day-to-day -day lives, but they don't age, they don't grow, and there's no new children. You can die, but, uh, yeah, life is stagnated. So... But you're gonna find the Realm of Darkness operates, yeah, pretty much like the Realm of Chaos in the Nova Crystallis series because, hey, <laughs> made by the same freaking guy. Same author. Oh. Man. Sora.
It'll become more apparent too the further we get into the series. So this is really grainy. It must be like the PSP cutscene still. It is. Like her outfit is still Sora. Yeah, this is her PSP outfit. <laughs> this is just an up a uh, not even really an upscaled cutscene. Where they wait for him. But yeah, it's really hard to tell on PS2 graphics, but like even those lines in the rocks that you see, those blue lines, that's crystal. You'll be able to see it better in uh, the PS4 games, but... Sora. Yeah, that's what that is. Riku. Your mind's made up? Yeah. Sora. Kairi. I... It's just, they really need me. I have to go. I am who I am. Because of them. <laughs> See you soon. You know, you're allowed to come with. You have a Keyblade. It's probably better if you do. Considering, you know, you're now a heartless magnet, like the rest of us. Uh, hello? One? Yeah, that blue stuff right here. That's all crystal. <laughs> yeah, no jumping around the timeline, no kidding. To be fair, when Diz is talking to Aqua, that's around the exact same time they are getting that letter out of the water. One, zero. Zero point? As long as you're with me, I'll always find my way back. Always. I mean, Sora was eventually able to walk out of here, so... What is going on? Zero point 
five? I guess this is the 2.5 collection. We got a map. Hey, we're finally playable. I guess they had to drag us all the way back here because, um, yeah. So, treasures. Anything new? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight treasures in the realm of darkness. So now we're in the realm of darkness, I guess. Okay. And you only get what you came in with. So, any stickers? Nope, because we, we completed that bullshit. So, for Keyblades, we have the Master's Defender, which is seven for both strength and magic. Can we? Nope, we can't equip any of our old Keyblades because they're technically stuck in the Realm of Light. So, we get what we came in with. No more. No less. There aren't any Moogle shops in hell, kiddo. Another save file because heck it. I should probably re-equip uh, Mega Flare. Is it? There it is. Thunder Surge, Seeker Mine, Mind Square, those are so good. Oh, look! Recognize these guys? Suddenly, actual Heartless! And Neo Shadows. Yeah, this is what I was going to use in the boss. I was having too much trouble. Of course, they like to hide down in the ground. Yeah, sure, come on over, little Heartless. Not that, though. Little jumpy point. I just want to make sure I get all the treasure, but yeah, these blue lines, these are all crystal. Kind of hard to tell with the PS2 graphics, but it will become more pronounced eventually. So, which way I want to go? That way has a way out. But maybe treasure? Or maybe this is the shortcut way. Who knows? I do see a treasure chest. Best Heartless of here, yeah. Well, remember, they're all natural Heartless, too. None of the ones created by Xehanort's machinery. This is pure blood Heartless. And we're in their territory, too, so even these little stinkers are more powerful than usual. Zero Gravica. Well, I guess we get some abilities. I don't know how this is down here, but... That seems to be a way out, so I'm going to go this way now. Oh, Dark Balls. Something I need to do with this? Take that. Confused. Huh. Heal. Who dropped their treasures into the darkness? Fire. No, it doesn't seem like I need to. It has like a little ring, which makes me think. Maybe jump? Yeah, there we go. Weird. Oh, dang it, balloon letter. 
dang it, me in my full inventory. Everybody out. Just set the mines on the spawn point. Blow up anything that comes out. <laughs> when he's not underground hiding. How did that miss you? Uber? In the realm of the darkness and I still have to deal with this. So it's repelling me up. Hmm. Yeah, name don't lie. What do you know? Uh, do I want something else in here? Let's put my Mega Ether back on. I guess if I mess this up, I can always open my old save and just collect him in my own free time. It seems like there's something down there. There is! I see a treasure chest down there. Stuff all below me. That's where I came in. Apparently there's stuff above me, but I can't reach it from here because I can't jump high enough, so... Sugar, we're going down? Whee! What is this one special? actually do flips. I've never been in this as Aqua before. Darkness tree. Yeah, it's got northern lights attached to it. Man, whenever we get northern lights, it just messes up the power cables and cell phone reception. Can we dot it down here? It looks like maybe... No, that's up higher. Down here, maybe? Because there is stuff down there. Maybe that was the other way in. Actually, really quick, I do need to be right back. So anything else around here? That was the tree we just activated. Oh, I'm really curious if I should go down to go up. Or is that going to be the exit? Is there like a full map? Nope, that's not what I... That's the share button, don't hit that. Uh... So I'm curious if that's going to take me where I need to go. I came in. Hmm. 
Any more? That want to come out and say hello? Fire. There we go. Yeah. Come say hello to my seeker mines. Oops, I need to do that. Oh well, I have 99 of them. It's not like I care. I have all the money in the world, I don't care. Uh, that's a great big circle, which makes me think it's going to be the way out. So let's not do that yet. That there is arena shaped. right in the center of the explosives is one. <laughs> it's just a perfectly circular room, don't worry about it. And Dark Souls all of a sudden music pops up. Why do I hear music all of a sudden? Oh, don't worry about it. It's probably nothing. Oh yeah, speaking of, Sony press conference trailer, uh, Demon Souls is getting a remake slash remaster. <laughs> We don't know which yet because of the mechanics. So I guess that's back on the table eventually. Oh my gosh, they just keep spawning. They got him right as he jumped. Oh, another tree branch. What about you? Where's your tree branch? It needs a remake remaster, is it really clunky? I mean, Dark Souls 1 looked like it's kind of clunky, so Demon Souls is probably even clunkier. Your sound of port was also correct. That's on PC now. Dark Souls. Eh, I believe it. Hey, I can come up here now. Is there anything I want up here yet? Where am I going? Treasure? Question mark? Uh, this kind of looks like I would use it to jump in there. Maybe not. My gamer instincts are telling me that is the area to go. So, let's see. Anything there? No. <laughs> Treasure. Secret gem. Also leads me up here. Come on. That doesn't even look like I can get in there yet. Not even. Yeah. I'm gonna go down before I come up. Before I leave this room, I want to go down there. There was like a ton more stuff. Me. What secrets do you hold? I don't have to redo all this if I leave the room incorrectly. <laughs> Would love a random mimic to just be here. Well, unfortunately, they're unversed, and Ven is put back together again. Left X. 
basically just press whatever they step on. Treasure, 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 treasure. I think this goes back to the room I came in? Yeah. Probably, but I still have to look because of reasons. Just... Realm of the Darkness, middle zone. Okay, it does. I was already there. Three treasures. and stuff, but I kind of have to wonder, is this... Is that the boss, or is this the boss? <laughs> Which one of you is the boss? Because I don't want to screw it up. Like, if you know, you can just tell me, since it's only directions. air dash over there. Provided it doesn't have like a force field on it. It's like I could totally get in from here. Do I see any treasure in there? I don't. Not from this draw distance anyway. Maybe I'll go this way? Ooh, maybe it's not then, because this is a whole different room. Hmm. This is like its own thing, then. So I'll actually try getting in there. If I screw it up, I screw it up. Fire! I know, but treasure oath? Don't you want pretty, pretty treasure? There's, there's treasure in there. Fly, Aqua! There's undoubtedly gonna be enemies in here, but I don't care. Boop. Ascendance, move if you don't have it. Developers must put it in here to save pride. Man, they made this look extra special for nothing. Dang, fake out room. I almost missed a treasure because of it. Take that. Hmm. Nothing else? Really? Okay. Then I guess we can go back to the other room. I, I could have sworn that was going to be a boss, but I guess not. <laughs> Just a circular room? What could have gone wrong? Right? Like, that was shaped like a boss room. Like, I know what the boss is, because it was spoiled for me, but... That totally looked like the room it would be in. If I was gonna stick it somewhere. Yeah, did that just really need a special looking room? Uh, to be fair, it is a good move. Transcendence is a decent move to have. Especially if you're solving one of the uh, special heartless puzzles. Take that! One in the Keyblade graveyard practically requires it. Hmm. Defeat bubbles to release the hold. I see. Fire! Well, 
barrier go poof. I guess. There's a chest. Should be only one more. I forgot what happens when we fall. Ooh, good custom. Yep, just one more. Oh, it's at the end though. Maybe it expect maybe it's on the other side of the room and it expected me to go the other direction. Yeah, I probably did. Let's go back around this way then. I don't want to charge that. If I don't uh, see it in here, I might try falling just to see if it is down in there. It probably puts me back in the room I was just in. There's like no permanent falling in Kingdom Hearts. It always puts you like in another, another room. There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Do I get something for this? Triple Firaga. Max treasure. Ta-da! Yay! Guess I'll have to buy my own confetti because I get nothing. Come on. Oops. Again. Oh, I guess I placed them below my feet. Whoops. Accidental annihilation. And there was an invisible one. Defeat all the enemies. Boop. Oh, thank you for the pizza. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. They're coming for me. With a mixer. Oh wow, things are happening. Square. They're on the square. Space with a lot of enemies. Help if I could see. Ta da! I guess I can save on my old file considering I got all the stuff. Probably telling me what lies beyond is not fun. Maybe it is, depending on your personality. Just in case, if that is true. I am going to put on another cure. And what else do we got? Thunder Surge, Seeker Mine, Mine Square. Let's get Thundaga shot. Here we go. I like to hit this thing from a distance because of reasons. Ever wonder what heartless vision looks like? Now you know. This 
is their domain. They can be extra strong down here. This monster. This is no unverse. You're realizing this now? Darkness. Defeat the enemy. Can't even get a clear shot of it. Distance. Take advantage of your invincibility frames. Thunder. It's holding still, actually. What do you know? But it has a lot of HP, too. It's like a fully evolved, evolved dark form. He prevented my seeker mines. How dare you? Yeah, ghost dog. Oh, something is pulling me. It's pulling me. Oh, those. He lays them down and they influence where I go. Very jumpy. I don't like how jumpy you're being. Hope you like your square button intact, yeah. Heal. He wants all the invisibility and frames you can get. Take that. Come on. Stop throwing me! I'm just kind of like concentrating. Eat Ghost Drive! Oh, is this poison? No, he's just changing how he does things. He's doing Riku's move. He's bending the space-time continuum, not that we have one down here. Okay, it doesn't protect me from that. I have a little bit to keep Ghost Drive going. See, that's what I messed up. I thought I put Barrier Surge on and I didn't. I'm looking for it in my inventory and I don't see it. Gotcha. Take advantage of invincibility frames, please. Please. Epilepsy warning, yeah, maybe. Oh, could it be? Remember that thing I said about their worlds falling into darkness? Yeah. A fragmentary passage. Basically, what Aqua's gonna be going through while all this stuff happens. Birth by Sleep, Volume 2. So, yeah, this is going to take back off and uh, 
Kingdom Hearts 2.8 A Fragmentary Passage, which is going to be a whole other game and what they use to test the PS4 engine. So we've earned a trophy, the lost chapter. Archive completion, 91% and we get to save one more freaking time. But yeah, we are um, actually done this time. Don't worry. It's over, it can't hurt us anymore. Clear data saved. Be sure to hang on to this clear data. You may find it useful for it down the line, and I think that unlocks like secret bosses and stuff. But we still have a little bit to do, namely reading those dang reports. So let us jump into the Trinity Archives. Blank points has been unlocked in the theater. You've earned the Power Walker trophy for taking 99. 1,999 steps. You have earned the Key Slinger trophy for taking out a thou 10,000 unversed. You've earned the Clockwork trophy for playing for 80 hours or more. Have I? Have I really? I guess if all else fails, you can just leave it on. Uh, you have the tro Trinity trophy for finishing all the stories in proud mode or above, in case anybody thought I was faking. Uh, so yeah, theater's done, game stats, trophies. I think the few that I'm missing are for like, yeah, that one's definitely gonna be for the arena. This is probably for like, the command boards. Game stats, um, yeah, combat, 91%. Probably because I didn't do all the, uh, Secret Heartless in, uh, the other people's modes, like Terra's. Or it could be the secret bosses. I'll never know. Item collection, 91. Why you lying? <laughs> Why you lying? Maybe it's for like the Keyblades. Story, 97. Minigames, 94. 97! Where the heart goes. Yeah, these are all the ones that we saw. Hmm. What's missing? <laughs> Quick, check the files. Yeah, I don't understand what is missing. What is missing? Where's my sleep? 97 story. Oh good, it's, it's an automatic Google fill out, which beats people run into the same crap. Uh, I just finished all four story lines in the crowd. 98% uh, of the story. Complete lingering sentiment and mysterious figure. You have to play the 100 acre wood command board to unlock some of the chapters in the reports section. I played the 100 acres command board. You have to do 100 acre command war, defeat Vanita's lingering spirit, and defeat the mysterious figure. Okay, it's secret bosses. You have to get all the keyblades and character data which requires you to defeat the secret bosses to get their character reports, and for the void gear and no name keyblades, so... Yay. <laughs> Yay. Anyway. I guess that's that. And I apparently also have to do the command boards for the rest, which I don't know, I may or may not do. Depends on uh, how much Kahlua you guys are willing to uh, see me slog through. Hope you still like your square button attack, no kidding. Anywho, let's read. I know I've already read some of these, but let's just do them in order. Xehanort's letter. Please accept my deepest gratitude for the invitation to witness your pupil's accession to the office of true Keyblade Master. It was a heavy mantle our master placed upon your shoulders in naming you successor, but you have nonetheless preserved and raised two masters yourself. I know it cannot have been easy. I did you a terrible harm in the past over a petty difference in opinion, 
and just a few years ago selfishly thrust my own burdens upon you. I think of you like a younger brother, and yet, fool that I am, I have never availed myself of the countless opportunities to apologize or thank you for opening my home to the boy. Your home to the boy. Uh, which by which he means Ventus. Uh, yet not once have you blamed me. On the contrary, here you are inviting me to such an important ceremony. I intend to be there to offer you all of my blessings. Our master chose his heir wisely. Ours is a bizarrely ironic task, to watch over the light from the shadows. But in the face of that, the warmth in your heart and unfailing dedication to the light impresses me to no end. I've taken to wandering the world and seen much darkness hiding in the light. Lately, I fear it has taken a turn for the worse. Perhaps Yen Sit has already told you about the Unburst. He's fledging emotions derived from negativity, and I can now sense their presence in nearly every world. And on the topic of darkness, we must speak of another matter that concerns me, one related to the upcoming ceremony. When I visited several years ago, your pupil Terra drew my attention. His power is immense, to be sure, but within his heart I could see darkness just waiting to be awakened. I know this is none of my business, but I have reservations about welcoming Terra as a true Keyblade Master without taking certain precautions. The traditional examination, perhaps, to see if he has the mark of mastery? The choice is yours, and I'll humbly respect your decision. Take care, I eagerly await our long overdue reunion. So all of these are going to be written by Xehanort, just FYI. Report number one. Much time has passed since I left the home of my youth behind. And in the myriad of worlds I have since visited, I have gained much knowledge. On these pages, I intend to record a portion of that knowledge and put the course of my life to paper. Upon reflection, my life underwent the most considerable sea change when I arrived at that place. Yes, it began when I found a master, and another I would later call my brother when I found a new home. There was the Keyblade. For what purpose was it begotten, and by whom? During my training as one of its wielders, the precepts offered a clear answer. Keyblade. <laughs> the Keyblade existed so that we who watched over the light could protect the world from the shadows. But was that the true answer? Could there not be more to it than that? My heart sought knowledge, and I sometimes visited other worlds, though such travel was forbidden unless duty required, and found what my heart sought. I'm curious if some of this will be answered more when Dark Road comes out. Xehanort Report Number 2 our master instructed us to don armor while traveling between worlds so that we might shield ourselves from the darkness. But there, in the lanes between, I could feel the force of it, the power, and from there on, I forewent my armor's protection. I had been told the darkness would devour me, but what terrors could it possibly hold so long as I found the strength to control it? The world is vast, in the worlds within the greater world, uncountable. Like little islands, they dot the great ocean between, which keeps them ignorant of each other, uncorrupted. Each world has its own honor. Unlike us, they could not know of the world in its entirety, and were never, and we are never to enlighten them. Xehanort Report Number Three. In ancient times, no such buffers kept the large worlds divided. There were no walls of light enclosing each smaller world the way they do today. Nothing prevented one from physically interfering with the next. At that time, the world was filled with light and a great many Keyblade wielders, but without buffers, the worlds began to squabble over ownership of the light. You see, they learned of the Keyblade's true use. War broke out as each of the Keyblade wielders struggled to lay claim to the almighty entity known as Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts could be described as an aggregate of hearts. Worlds, too, have hearts, just like people. Each world's heart is concealed from sight beyond a hidden door. By gathering all the hearts of the worlds in a single place, one may complete Kingdom Hearts. Number four. And when Kingdom Hearts is complete, it is said that one who opens the door will bring about the creation of the next world. Such a feat is above any human. Or, to put it a different way, whoever opens that door will be reborn as something far greater than human. Interesting. Light and darkness are two sides of the same coin. Without darkness, there is no light. The Keyblade wielders' great war over Kingdom Hearts was fought by defenders of the light, servants of darkness, those who sought to reconcile the two, and those no motivated by nothing more than lust for power. A whole spectrum of thought was swept into the conflict, and the worlds that did not go to war fought the war brought to them. In the end, the whole world was cast into darkness. That's true, in Union Cross you get to pick um, multiple factions for which you believe is the best way to, like, be a keeper of the light. That was how the ancient Keyblade War drew to a close. 
To this day, no one has ever managed to open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Sometime later, the little light that remained in the world, in the hearts of the few, gave rise to the world we know today, one made of many worlds behind just as many walls, so that the Kingdom Keyblade War could not be repeated. Um, answer report number five. At present, the lanes and corridors that run between the worlds may only be traversed by us Keyblade wielders and those who have given themselves over to darkness. And apparently, the magic of the gummy ship. As the former, our duty is to cross the chasms between worlds and guard against the latter, whose darkness corrupts and contaminates so that no world need ever be lost again. Few Keyblade wielders remain now. I have heard of but a handful of others outside my circle, but the world is vast, and more of our kind may be out there. Now, hidden in addition to the realm of light in which we reside, there is also a realm of darkness, and the realm between which connects the two. The realm of darkness is most forbidden. I am told none who set foot there have ever returned. Well, we know that's false. Uh, Xehanort report number six. There are three families of Keyblades. The Keyblades of Light we wield, Keyblades of Darkness, and Keyblades of Heart. Oh, there's a third one? I thought there were only two. Okay. The first and second families differ only in origin. Keyblades of Darkness are found in the Realm of Darkness and are counterparts to the Keyblades we use in the Realm of Light. So, I think Mickey's, for example, is actually like a Keyblade of Darkness because he picked it up in the Dark Realm, but I can't 100% be sure of that until I play G.8. Uh, the third type of key, the Keyblade of Heart, came into existence when the world was reorganized after the Keyblade War. Without this key, Kingdom Hearts is forever beyond a person's reach. Only by gathering together seven hearts of pure light, hearts completely devoid of darkness, may one forge a Keyblade of Heart and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so it's the Keyblade of Heart is the, the uh, Kai Blade. And as stated before, opening this door arguably gives that person control over all worlds and all people. Ooh. Xehanort Report number seven. I have uncovered the Keyblade's ultimate mystery. You see, Besides the three families of Keyblades, there is another Keyblade. Okay, maybe Keyblades of Heart are actually different then. While it may sound the same when spoken, it is notably... It is noted uniquely as Kyblade. And make no mistake, while it resembles a normal Keyblade, it is something to, altogether different. Keyblades are said to be man-made counterparts to Kingdom Hearts. The Kyblade, however, coexists with Kingdom Hearts. It is only forged when two hearts of equal power interact, one heart of pure darkness, one of pure light. In the time of its forging, Kingdom Hearts appears. It must be noted, though, that this Kingdom Hearts is special. Unlike the kingdoms brought about forcibly and artificially through the coercion collection of hearts, this Kingdom Hearts is a perfect and complete union of all the world's hearts. Okay, so there's more than one. Surely it was over this that the ancient Keyblade War was fought. If so, the walls that divide the worlds today are of little consequence. With the Kai Blade, all their hearts could be instantly reunited and the Keyblade War refought. Okay, so there's more than one Kingdom Hearts. That's weird. Also, no, the Great War I don't believe was fought over the Kai Blade. It was caught it was fought uh, with basically people having vastly different political opinions. Uh Xehanort Report number eight every other war. My brother pupil Ericus thinks only in absolutes. He has persuaded himself that light is the only way, but forgets that light cannot exist without shadow. I believe a balance of light and darkness is what sustains our world, but too much of the darkness has been stamped out to disrupting that balance. Okay, Anakin Skywalker. Someone must tear down this tyranny of light and reorganize the world around the darkness which then creeps back in. Ericus and I did not see eye to eye. I left and wandered the world. This was perhaps the first time I truly felt free since that day I departed my boyhood home. But free to do what? I had already shown the mark and become a Keyblade Master. But having been passed over as a successor, all that remained to me was the road of teacher. Ordinarily, Keyblade Masters take pupils under their wings, malleable minds in which to impress the precipice, precepts of the Keyblade wielder and keep our profession alive for generations to come. Was my time drawing to an end then? After all, I had accomplished since casting away the place of my birth. Surely waiting for a quiet death would not do. 
Not when there was still so much I needed to see for myself. Powers help me, I thought. My body is so old. Sorry, this text is still really hard to read. Yeah, no kidding. And everything gets more confusing. Xehanort report number nine. We Keyblade Masters have a special gift. We can extract a heart, be it our own or that of another. By continuing this cycle, it is possible to remain in the world of the living forever. As a boy, I dreamed of seeing the farthest reaches of the world. If I only went far enough, there had to be a world out there in which no one had ever before set foot. And now I know of just such a world. If I became the first to open Kingdom Hearts door, I can create a next world in which light and darkness exist in perfect equilibrium. So there I stood, with vast knowledge in one gnarled, dying hand and newfound purpose in the other. The next step was clear. I needed a new vessel. And that was when I met Ventus and made him my pupil. We were destined to meet, and I could sense the potential within him. But the boy was too benign for his own good. I came to the conclusion that he was too frail to serve as a vessel, and decided to use him for a second purpose I had in mind. I would remove the darkness from his heart and split him in two. Then I would have my heart of pure light and my heart of pure darkness. Report number 10. As was to be expected, Ventus lacked the constitution for such an ordeal. I was able to remove the darkness inside him and create Benitas, a heart of pure darkness, but Ventus drifted into the clutches of sleep. Ventus's heart of pure light and Benitas's heart of pure darkness, if both could be made strong enough to one day clash, I knew the Kai Blade would be forged. Also, that is the wrong use of apostrophe S. <laughs> it just gotta be a snob and point that out. But Vanitas took too much of Ventus's heart, and from that fracture, I could see the last of Ventus's heart light was slipping away. The boy deserved a place to spend his final moments peacefully, and what should come to mind but my own boyhood home. Because again, as we addressed last time, apparently, Xehanort is from Destiny Islands, and just ugh, I need to know more about that. My legs took me there unbidden, and as I stood there on the same beach where I had made my choice so many years ago, I thought, not a single thing has changed. Here, in this quiet world, time marches in place. Content that Ventus would find peace here, I started to walk away. But just then, the boy held up his keyblade. The light within him had not died. Also, we could see, like, the island base when Riku and Sora were talking to each other, and it was not that far away. Like, at all. For some reason, you can't see the main island from the secret base island, but you can totally see one from the other. I don't know. Kingdom Hearts is weird. Report number 11. Ventus and Vanitas were not matched in power. I could not train them together, or Vanitas' darkness would gnaw away at what little Ventus had left. Of course... Since I needed a place where the boy's light might flourish, the answer was obvious. Ericus and his absolutes. Considering how we had parted ways, I expected friction. But if anything, Ericus seemed dedicated to see me again. He readily agreed to take care of Ventus. Now I need only wait for the boy's heart to get stronger. I had not visited this second home of mine for some time, and discovered Ericus had already found two pupils of his own. Within one of them, Terra, I sensed something. The boy, though well-intentioned, seeks power single-mindedly, and that kind of hunger is a seedbed for darkness. I had found my vessel. Yeah, the mainland just comes and goes, apparently. Floating island? I mean, we have them on freshwater. Because they're buoyant and in a lake, but still. Xehanort Report number 12. The time has come. I have received word from Ericus that his pupils are to become true Keyblade Masters, Terra and Aqua. They will be easy now to lure into the outside world. But Ventus, I will get nowhere without him. Vanitas can feel some of what Ventus feels, and he says Terra is the key. Ventus has loved Terra like a real brother ever since he let him keep his old wooden keyblade. It seems we have found a loose thread at which we can tug to unravel Ventus's heart. The first step is to get Terra alone, then we need to plant the seeds of doubt in Ventus. Let him carry his faint light as he chases his brother into darkness. Let the darkness make his light stronger, then let the light deepen the darkness. And where the two finally meet is where the stuff of legends will become real. And that's it. That is um, all of the reports. So we get to see things from Xehanort's point of view. But yeah, that totally wraps up Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Aside from a few uh, extra bosses, this LP is done. Thank you so much to everyone who has joined. 
If you liked these videos, consider liking them and maybe following my channel. And I hope to see you all in future streams. Bye-bye.